going on there folks earthmaster here checking in on this wednesday morning january 20 20th 2021 8 35 a.m is the west coast time here in california just a small little earthquake coming into the live seismograph stations here a 3.5 striking the southern california region uh, while not a big earthquake this thing will definitely uh, uh in the area where it's located will trigger quite a bit of responses from the folks there in southern california right smack dab in the uh, greater Los Angeles area, right, this concrete jungle down there in Southern California, um, at least showing up there on the Caltech website. I am not seeing it yet. Well, there we go. Now it's finally showing up on the USGS map. You can see it, 3.5 near Willowbrook, California, at a depth of about uh, 18 kilometers or so. A little bit deeper than your standard typical six kilometer earthquake along the uh, pacific plate here and as i mentioned right smack dab it looks like right around the uh i mean we can zoom in get an exact location i don't know there's so many cities within a broad area it's you know it's basically just one big city in my mind anyway willowbrook linwood hawthorne gardenia compton those areas of southern california concrete jungle everywhere not a not a you know <laughs> natural land anywhere out there so let's check out looks did you feel it reports coming in left and right no doubt uh, looks like the intensity map you know according to some of these folks here up around the strong more than likely going to be light to moderate uh, strong would be kind of uh, just a little overboard there for a 3.5 at 16 kilometers down or 18 kilometers down i should say uh, just not gonna do that much damage at all unless this thing get up unless this thing gets upgraded which i doubt it will but you never know. USGS does some uh, weird stuff. A couple of responses coming in from uh, Los Angeles, Manhattan Beach, Sherman Oaks, Huntington Beach area. All reported uh, filling it. No doubt this will definitely, uh, uh, the list will grow as uh, the day goes on. So, EMSC website is showing a uh, earthquake down off the baja california coast we can zoom in not into that not into that one go back over here into the pacific area north america region there we go and you can see this earthquake there in the baja california region a 5.2 that showed up oh a couple hours ago you can see that 5.2 and also a uh, uh 4.2 a few hours or actually quite a, quite a while before that eight hours this one, the 5.2, it looks like one hour and 38 minutes ago, according to the EMSC website. Um, I am not seeing anything on the USGS site there. You see that? No reports of an earthquake at all. And normally a 5.2 will definitely trigger, obviously, uh, the USGS map here. Anything above 2.5. And of course, all magnitudes will show anything um, striking. So I'm not for sure what's going on. You know, it's a sufficient amount of time has passed since that 5.2 supposedly struck so we'll see if the usgs does add this throughout the day or not but if they uh if this is indeed an actual earthquake that struck down here that's going to be showing some signs of obvious increase in pressure up here along the west coast today we did have a little bit of earthquake activity out here in the uh, uh, north of japan region 5.5 striking um well check out the depth of that one 574 kilometers folks I mean, it's just been the year of deep earthquakes, let me tell you. It's almost been just non-stop with some uh, deep movement. All pointing, you know, potentially to a much larger surface quake somewhere. But for right now, uh, if that uh, invisible 5.2 is there, along with the 3.5 in the Los Angeles area, that's a sign to uh, be on guard out here west coast uh, for some potential movement. Uh, looking at the specifics of any fault system out here, of course, there's always going to be unnamed faults and faults not listed on this map. But far as the ones that are known and listed by the USGS, looks like the Newport, Inglewood, Rose Canyon. Uh, let's see if I can click that. North Los Angeles Basin section. Geez, could they name it any more names? Uh, is where this 3.5 struck there just a short time ago. Um, California is just a spider web of faults that just very brittle very brittle area and uh, one day it's gonna be bad news for those folks uh, no movement there along the San Andreas fault 
a little bit of activity on the extensional faults of San Andreas called the Borali Seismic Zone and also the Imperial Fault. Just a couple small microquakes, but overall, um, no major movement aside from the invisible 5.2 and this new activity up near Willowbrook into parts of uh, northwest here. Not a whole lot of movement. Uh, Mount Rainier showing a little bit of activity up there, some microquakes. Mount Hood, you can see just a couple small quakes there as we zoom in. Oh, just maybe one. So the swarm has kind of calmed down there in that region for now. Rest of the globe here, folks, just some uh, deep movement out here along the uh, Solomon Islands and in through the Indonesia area. And uh, the latest deep quake, 574 kilometers on the map there, north of Japan. Be on guard, folks. Sign of the times coming up. And uh, just be prepared. Hope for the best. We will chat you guys a little bit later on. Got a few things got to do today, and we will be back later on. Stay safe, everyone.